My cat is here. Do I need anything else? Let's light a candle. like to read you guys a poem today and sing a song. Oh, I'm so excited. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to be with you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, it's so good. So good. I'm so happy. So I have to test my equipment just to make sure everything's going well. Let's see. Can you guys hear me okay? No sound. Can you hear? You can't hear me. Okay, let's make sure that you can hear me. <clears throat> can you hear me now? Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me now? Can everyone hear me? Awesome. Hi, everybody. It's so good to be with you. Thank you for your patience while I got set up a couple minutes behind schedule this morning, but always perfect, and I really I'm so happy to be with you all, and I've decided in this moment I'm, I want to read you a poem to start that I have, and then I want to um, sing a song with us today, and then we're going to see what comes through when everybody gathers with the transmission. So about the first 15 or so minutes, it's like the warm-up act, you know, and then we kind of dive in as more people join, and... Um, how is everybody feeling? Does everybody feel? I know there's a lot going on in the world right now. I was almost making a reel on Instagram this morning about how important it is for empaths to um, like move their bodies and exercise some of the energy because you guys are probably feeling like the collective energy where it's really, really intense. Um, they're very sad. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of stuff is moving in the world. But here's the thing, Cynthia, this is, I'm glad that you even said sad because I, I straight up got the message about like, don't, we are very privileged. Like if, if you're here on Insight Timer, we're in this interesting grace of living a life where we are, we have freedom, you know, and not everywhere in the world has that same kind of liberty that we do. And, and I don't want us to feel bad about that. I want us to help anchor joy in ourselves at the same moment that we're holding the heartbreak of the world and the, and the, and the, hi Monica, hi, nice to see you again. Um, and just to, to feel the emotions of heartbreak and to not bypass them, but also don't not allow yourself to celebrate life still and appreciate like what is really going on in your soul at this moment, even if you're overwhelmed by what's happening in the world. And like really, you know, in my trauma training and that I got with, um, with uh, Sean Korn and Suzanne Sterling through the um, Off the Mat in the World, they talk about resourcing your energy. And so, <laughs> yeah, my cat is freaking out a little. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, Resourcing your energy means anchoring in, looking around you, grounding into the present moment. And I think that's really important for those of us who are super psychically sensitive. We can get really lost in the, um, <laughs> what is going on in the world. My cat wants to be presenced. Everyone say hi to Seek this morning. Hi Seek, how you doing? How are, how's your world? How's your, uh, how are you in the world right now? You feeling okay? You got some food, you got your authority. Cat is in the, in the zone. Do I need to do anything else? In order to get the poem, I'm gonna have to grab that iPad and um, we're gonna get started in one second. I'm gonna light a candle and I'm gonna light some sage. And I invite you guys to also create a ritual space for us together by lighting a candle, maybe lighting some incense. 
And really, let's just say a prayer. Let's just use our first thing before we go into the poem and anything else is that we're going to say a prayer for Ukraine, for Russia, for the world, for America. America's having its Pluto return right now. So the planets are in a certain alignment that it was, I think, at the very beginning when this country was birthed. And right now that's manifesting in the world, um, on the world stage as this political um, orchestration, if you will, that's happening with Russia and this war on Ukraine. And, you know, I'm doing this program called Surrender and it makes me understand why I teach power and our relationship to power in this way and I, I think this is really important right now I can feel like this in this collective space that we're in and I feel like my sage is blessing all of you um, you know our relationship that we've been taught with power is that we need to take this is like a perfect example of this is that we need to take power wherever we can grab it and we need to encroach on others and we need to push others boundaries and we need to steal power that's what I want to say because that's happened to me in my own life, is that people have looked at me and wanted to steal resources, steal power, steal energy. Maybe some of you have experienced that also, because when we have a lot of Shakti and when we have a lot of light, that can happen to us on our path, yeah? And so the truth, like the capital T truth, ooh, is anchoring in to surrender and even as I say that, the whole entire frequency changes because we are inviting in a power that is larger than ourselves, that orchestrates all things, right? You feel that with me, you can feel it. And that power of surrender is infinite. There are no limits to it. And it, it comes through us, it's not even ours. And in that space, there's a certain level of humility. And in that space, there's a certain level of trust. And this is the thing that is missing from our world. A level of trust in this invisible truth that those of us with open hearts and have had multidimensional or psychedelic experiences have opened and expanded to. I know, you know, the first time I ever took acid, I was very young and I like looked at a tree and I saw the tree as a being for the first time. And it really changed my relationship to the world and to the earth. And you don't have to go through that doorway using psychedelics. You can do it through prayer and medicine and being meditation, right? That's why we're here on this Insight Timer app is where, you know, we know that when we breathe, when we settle and when we pray and when we teach and when we align and when we attune our vibration to this other world the other world comes through us and then we do not need to look for power outside of ourselves and we do not need to try to steal anything from anyone it's just there and this is true power. The, true, the truly powerful don't need to prove anything. And so I'm gonna leave that transmission right there. The truly powerful do not need to true, prove anything. And I'm, I'm being guided to, to speak about that pro my program, Surrender, for those of you who are looking for a six month mentorship immersion uh, with me as a teacher and then the people who I have leaned on in the last two years as support systems are the guest speakers in this uh, program and there's a, not only an attunement of maturity in so many realms but the specific dimension I want to talk about is the journey we're taking from maiden mother crone stag father sage the alchemization and the archetype journey of the masculine and feminine integration in ourself to finally anchor into what is a sage, what is a wise one, what is, a sh what is the qualities of a shaman. A shaman has characteristics 
of both being able to receive from spirit and it's the same way that I do these the this this medicine that we're all here together sharing in so I can become a beacon of healing how do we become a beacon of healing we trust this infinite space we learn we open to it we channel it we surrender to it and at the same time we direct energy we have to receive which would be a feminine quality and guide as a masculine force in order to be an integrated healer in this world and to show up in your leadership you need to have both and I don't see that being taught so much in the world I see a lot of feminine embodiment being very you know um, uh, sensuality focused which is really important I love that very much and there's another way of being that creates healing and guidance and leadership so that you can create structure and guidance and leadership in the world so that we don't have to fight the grandfather spirit this archetypal energy this wise beautiful great spirit type of energy that we're calling into our circle now is gentle and knows how to fight but chooses not to chooses to hold back this is true power chooses to pick battles, chooses to know when to move and when to stay. That is true warriorness. That is serving something that is greater than ourselves and allowing that to be a transmission that comes through us and supports all things. I'm gonna look at the comments for a moment, grab the poem, and we're gonna get underway. Oh, thank you for your Dharma talk. Oh, Cecilia's had a headache for the fourth. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, great. Yeah, that's my Dharma talk for today. Let me go get the um, poem that I want to share with you guys, and then we will be on our way. And if anyone else wants to share anything in the chat, um, basically, if you want to say anything about what I said or any, while I'm pulling this poem up, I invite you to do that. Mm. I feel like I should tap some bowls just so we... Your outfit is super cute. <laughs> I love you, Sushi. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I, got, I guess I got dressed up today. It's super cold in Austin right now, Texas. It's 30 degrees. And I decided this morning that I do not like the cold. <laughs> And I don't want to live anywhere that is cold ever again. I lived in Boulder for some years. Okay, I love you all. I want to read this poem because it, I shared it on my Instagram and um, I wrote it eight years ago. It just felt really important. Everything you said was on point for me right now. Oh, I'm so grateful to hear that. Thank you, Sylvia. You're beautiful. Cecilia says, oh, everybody's talking. I love this. Turmoil in my work environment, anniversary of my dad's passing, oh, and missing my mom. The world is unrest, so much energy, a continuation of our conversation. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Cecilia, are, we're sending prayers to you right now. We're going to get in the prayer space in a moment. I want to, I'll play the bowls while I read this poem as best I can. And then, um, I did want to sing you a song, but I feel like we're going to go into meditation just to ground everybody in. And then we will, maybe I'll sing a song at the end. Mm. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Thank you so much. So this poem is called, I Light the Light. So imagine for those of you, because I, I'm starting to see something, a pattern that the people and the women who are most attracted to my work are women who have an embodiment of being healers. And this poem's about me stepping into my own teacher, my inner teacher. And I wonder if you can imagine that it is you. While I say the words I, maybe you can think of it as you. Just clearing the space, clearing the energy for a moment, listening. And before I read this poem, we're calling in the guides, the angels, the ancestors. 
Calling on the four directions, the north, the south, the east, and the west. The bones and the stones and the trees and the beings of all of nature and the animal totems of the snake. I see you, I see you present and the eagle and the buffalo and the bear. Thank you to the waters. Thank you to the waters we drink. Thank you to all the elements, the elements of earth, air, water, fire, ether, space. And I invite you for this moment to attune to the light inside of you, the light that you are. I had a dream once that we are all these beams of energy. We are all these sparks of light. And we literally light up those of us who are attuned to this particular frequency of these codes of ascension consciousness. We're here to enlighten each other and hold a grid similar to the whales all around the planet of this other frequency, our relationship to power, everything I was just speaking on. We are teaching what they call Christ consciousness, which is this just this force of universal love. Universal love. And so with this universal love, I invite you to imbue this frequency into your cells, into your body at this moment. And I'm going to start to read this beautiful piece and see it as it is you. I light the light, like a candle lighting another candle. It is my privilege to be sensitive, to be tuned into the subtle frequencies emitted by the planets, the knowledge of the Akashic by listening, by listening. And somewhere far there, far off in my inner space, I feel the vast journey before me as I open to embrace the ocean of love, as I teach and remind the other versions of myself to let go, to not take personal, so they can remind me when I am shaken and lift me up. And we hold space for one another, silent and sure, connected to the infinite like a web around this universe. So pure we are, so strong, so subtle the, web, the threads that run right through us, that love us, that are us. I listen to that. I practice being present in your presence, really being awake for you, so I can give you the light that you are reflected. I am a candle, a mirror, and it is my honor each class I teach, each session I give, every conversation where I listen fully present, is a blessing to dialogue with the infinite, to surrender to the bliss that suffering can bring us into, closer to our teachers, our guides, our guru. That inner knowing that is somehow amiss this chaotic masquerade, every moment is sweet perfection even the stuck energy in my gut, even my aggressive ego, even my attachments to love and approval, because beyond those things, the 10,000 things, the myriad of melodramas and all my insecurities, I am tuning to wisdom and listening to the ringing 
to the hum, to the vibration, and the energy. It guides me. But so does the silence. Take a deep breath in and let it go. One more time, deep breath. for purification 
for our own beings and that we radiate that purification out into the cosmos now. That's the that's what we're going to take on here in this moment. That our being and our life force is an attunement to this energy of purification and that that purification radiates outward from our circle today into the cosmic. But it starts here. It starts in our own being. So anchor into your heart. I can feel some of you really doing this. Thank you so much for the support and for this help as we transmute these energies together. Deep breath in. And exhale. Sakshat para Brahma Tasmae Shri Yugurave Namaha One more, but it, it is done, it is done, it is done, and so it is, but one more. We're gonna just keep that frequency surrender to. inside your own body and being. It doesn't have to be pretty, but move energy inside yourself. I want, this is a cauldron. We're in a cauldron right now of transmutation and I want you guys to be in this cave with me. And we'll move into the harmonium in a moment, I'm being told, but let's just do this right here, right now. taught otherwise, but in this moment of exploration, you are safe. 
to make primal sounds. Here we go. Empaths, I am speaking directly to you at this moment and I invite you to hold your hands into the air and feel yourself as separate from all the things in your life. Not separate in a bad way, but separate in a way that you are in your witness consciousness. And all of the things, all of the creatures, all of the beings just for this moment are outside the bubble of your hands. So press into the energy of that, feel that difference between your own energetic signature, this is what I do with my clients, and then everything else that's outside of you. Feel the purity and the light that you are a conduit of and connected to. Like I spoke, for those of you who are here in the beginning, that we are a we are so hardwired to being this beacon of light. We are light. Feel that light inside of yourself and then see the circumstances of life, the melodramas and all your insecurities, like I mentioned in the poem, all around, but in this other space. And now see how you get to choose to engage and and share and exchange but you always get to keep this bubble around you that is your not only your protection not only your boundaries but your field and that field is solid and wide and strong and you're completely anchored within it Feel the bubble around you that is that field, that radiance. You might want to sweep your arms up and out. And it's almost like magnetic, this bubble. It attracts things to you. 
but everything else gets to stay outside of this bubble now. It is no longer merged within you. It is no longer enmeshed within you. You have found your center place. And from this channel of your true alignment, the anchor into the roots of the earth, the receiving of the vibration of oneness from the earth, the attunement through the crown chakra into your galactic being. Actually, we're gonna work on this next, this crown chakra I can feel in the circle wants to really be able to receive some light. Here we go, I can feel it opening. Open the crown chakra, petals like a lotus flower above your head and reaching out to the starlight of the cosmos. Good, you guys, I can feel you guys doing this so beautifully. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a gift to be able to feel. And now see if you can surrender to that infinite light. There's a little bit of mistrust I can feel in the circle. Some of you are uh, trepidatious from opening to, to surrender. I actually wrote about this in, in an email the other day where surrender is something that we fear because it's like giving our power over to this force that is really greater than us and therefore a block to surrender is our ego wanting to control everything and really feeling like that control is safety but it really also is limiting to you being a vessel a vessel of the energy the same energy that navigates the planets and makes the acorn an oak tree and navigates the rhythms of your body. And when we're attuned deeply to the cosmic, I can feel some of us are connecting now through the crown chakra as I'm speaking. As we attune to that cosmic and we weave in and we begin to trust and surrender to it, then this vibration gives us ideas, inspired ideas that weave down from the cosmic through the third eye, into the heart, opens the voice. And it is from here that we are channels, that we are radiant beacons of the divine, that we actually access the infinite and become conduits of it and therefore radiate out and become this vibrational force of healing. And I believe this is the service that we are meant to bestow and give with our life mission. This is our purpose for incarnating at this time is to attune to that frequency and to radiate healing and so now see our circle as a beautiful circle and i feel us heart connected right now wings on our back the wingspan is wide and held and opened and you can feel even, imagine your arms going out and everybody's in this beautiful circle and see yourself with your angelic wings on your back and really pay attention to what your wings look like at this moment. This is another exercise that I do sometimes where it's healing your etheric wings and sometimes our wings are crinkled or they're not fully extended, but see what the quality of your wings look like today. Are they angel wings? Are they feathers? Are they bird wings? Are you bird tribe? Are they like bat wings or dragon? What do you feel? A dragonfly perhaps? What do your wings look like on your back? If you can visualize that for a moment. So breathe into that space. And then connect again to all of the beautiful beings in this circle who also have wings and are here to light up the world with you. And I want to make a sound in this winged prayer that we're in now. Yes, with the heart chakra bowl. And I invite you to match that sound that you're hearing. this bowl up. Okay. Heart chakra center. Ready?
Okay, continue to feel in the middle of the circle. I see like this diamond, beautiful crystalline energy, and I invite you to send your frequency into it. Ready? Deep breath. One more time, send it out. supported in your being. Anchor into surrender. Anchor. Anchor in. You are majestic. It is safe for you to own it now. The divine connection is so subtle and it never looks like what we expect. And this is a part of the dance of surrender. And we're clearing everything, like little crystals we are. Look, I feel like we're all little crystals in salt water right now, kind of getting scrubbed. Do, 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 do. Imagine that for a moment. <laughs> do, 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 do. Getting scrubbed, getting scrubbed energetically. You can even make a little sound. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, see, see it expand not only to you, but in your home. Yeah? In your home, people who live in your house. Little scrubbing bubble energy all around. Do, 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 do. Put your hands in the air, radiating all the light. <laughs> Finding the joy in your being amidst everything else. All of the suffering of this world. Just allow for one moment the bliss of remembrance of who you are. And then 
feel the silence. I I feel you guys that that is the quick that I don't even know where the mo I feel like we just began and I just realized that it's 10 minutes uh, till when we usually like wrap up like it's usually the time <laughs> I usually go for about 50 minutes like 45 minutes and um, I don't even know what happened <laughs> just now I feel like a wormhole or something little bubble I have to buy a wireless microphone that's my next purchase and then I want all crystal I want more bowls all these things how many 77 what a beautiful number of beings that are here Aaron I am so grateful that you yes the little gem diamond I love it and the little scrubbing bubbles beautiful Aaron I'm so grateful that you were moved by this work today and I hope that if Aaron is the one who is being a mouthpiece for most of you. I hope that many of you are feeling this transmission. I'll speak for a little bit and then I'm going to do a closing prayer and then we will be off for today. And I just want to say, you know, um, with all respect of, you know, your time and I'm doing a six month immersion that you can find on my website. It's Michelle Coutinho forward slash surrender. If that's something that you want in your life, I am a teacher, this is what I do, and I'm gonna take a group of 14 women and give them what I needed when I was them, if that makes sense. Like, I've been, I had a lot of different teachers and it was good in the sense that it, it's, it created the way that I wanna be a mentor to other women and serve them generously so we can do everything that we've been talking about dharmically in this world, which is really like be a resource. And oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna close with this, this um, like priestess wrap that I made that like I, 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 I wrote in Guatemala, in Tikal, the pyramids of Tikal with the Mayan energy. Um, I wrote a poem and then I put it to sound and then I didn't do anything with it. And then I did a priestess immersion for a year and a day, going through the Wheel of the Year with Sianna Sherman, who's been one of my beautiful friends and guides and leaders. And she came into my life, this beautiful woman who serves the goddess. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with her, but she's amazing. You guys are so wonderful. Thank you guys so much for the props. I really appreciate it. Um, so Sianna's the real deal. She's a real, real woman, real priestess, real queen. And my favorite thing about her and the reason why I love her so much, Sianna Sherman is just great. She's great. Um, the reason why I love her so much is because she's a woman that supports other women without jealousy, without competition. She, and that's been something that I have not seen a lot of in this world. And it's the most important thing to me for that. Um, I went with her to Europe and I got initiated as a priestess of Avalon in the lineage of just these codes of Celtic, Druid, ancient energies. I went to Glastonbury, I went to Italy. I was with a container of 30 women right after I went through a dark night of the soul. So I was betrayed by a spiritual family that I was enmeshed in, um, in a way. I mean, betrayed sounds so dramatic. But it was some karma, but basically this real journey of initiation that I was on it dot it self-destructed which is something that ram das says he says if you get attached to a method that awakens your soul you hope that that method self-destructs because you don't want to be attached to any method you want to be only in the service of the one and after that siana came into my life and i ended up going on this journey with her and it was very subtle at the time i didn't recognize the impact that it had on me of how that I engage in sister circles and hold space with other women. And then the other thing that happened in the last two years is I've been doing a lot of masculine and feminine embodiment work. And some of the teachers, um, David Data, John Wineland, uh, Nina Lombardo is a friend of mine. And there's this 
it, it doesn't mean to be, it's not like specifically patriarchal, but I feel that the embodiment of women in this work forgets this warrior-esque, fierce, dark feminine quality of women. I don't feel like that was the intention. I just feel like as they teach polarity, there's limitations. When we talk about masculine energy is this, feminine energy is this. And so my answer to this is to create more integrated, embodied leadership for men and women. So when they journey through the maiden, the mother, and the crone, we honor the dark feminine. We honor the mother as receiving. I was talking to one of my clients. She's here today, yesterday. She's like, it's funny that the mother is receiving because we don't think that. And I think that we don't think that because of that is a patriar patriarchal conditioning in this world that the mother must give and the mother must be dried out and just I've heard so many mothers recently in this last year tell me that the that being in the mother makes you masculine because you have to do all the time and do all the time and I don't feel like that's that's not the truth and so when we're talking about these ancient codes and and I have a male uh, teacher who's a deep soul friend in my life and his name is Michael Gay and he's going to be speaking in this program uh, holding this old way of being and Suzanne Sterling one of my mentors and Nina Lombardo and all of these beings and in my own journey as rising as somebody who's in the influencer world and coaching and Instagram has been this attunement to a more primal ancient truth and holding that vibration how do we hold this anchor of real deep honest wisdom that is not superficial it's not popular to talk about it's not popular to be it's kind of like an outlier energy but it's humble and it's true and it's real and i want to perpetuate i know it's not even like a want i am made of that and my deepest service is to hold that space and be a stand for that in the world through my transmission and to be a mirror, like the poem I read, a candle lighting other candles who equally feel that, that expression of this world, this older way of being, this enchantment, this warrior -esque, this living with integrity, being on a dharmic mission of being a healer and what that means to be a healer, a teacher, a way shower, a guide for others in whatever way that you do it. That is what I'm here to represent and to help lead those who feel that same knowing. And this is this ancient call and this ancient sadness of not having it in the world that's one of my deepest wounds has been that I don't see it out there in the world. And I guess sometimes when we don't see something that we're looking for, it's because we're meant to create it. And my program Surrender is an expression of that. And so I offer that to you at this time. It's a total mentorship and you get one-on-ones with me also. Um, and I hope that me just saying that, whether you sign up for this or not, is, is medicine to you. The cat always comes in at the perfect time. So that's, that's over now. Um, let's see. Women need to hold the same space as men. What? Okay, good. We're good. Okay, great. Awesome. So I could sing the priestess song. I feels a little vulnerable, but I might as well do it. Um, does anyone have any questions or need anything before we go? And then... Maybe I'll sing that song. Is it time to sing the song? It'd be crazy if I did that right now. Bust out into the priestess chant. It's like a rap. <laughs> then we'll go. Ah, oh my goodness. I haven't performed this here. You, you guys, I'm nervous. It's great. Nervous is good. Okay. Sylvia says, sing it. Sing it, baby. All right. Ah, oh my god, you guys, I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, here we go. Ah, so that's how, if you guys want to sing along with me, you can go. Ah, priestess, 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 priestess. Ah, 
priestess, 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 priestess. Ah, I have been a priestess of the dark. Ah, I am a priestess of the light. Ah, my soul has the wisdom of the temple tantric arts. I am remembering in this life how to wield with strength and humility to be humble and yet serene. As power flows through the channel that is me I, 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 for a soul I, I, I am a rainbow warrior I, 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 My truth is indigo I, 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 Exotic indigenous remembering to honor the earth our mother the earth our mother and father sky and father sky all things sacred all things sacred we dance this web of light and life Offering our service in a new creation and representation. This world is understanding once again. The consensus will join us. We lead by example. They're suffering a road to wisdom. And we will heal them. We will heal them with love and heart-based consciousness with art and sound and music. We're sharing our voices, opening in waves, opening in waves, expanding through grace, expanding through grace, eternally triumphant, eternally triumphant. Aho, 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 opening in waves, opening in waves, expanding through grace, expanding through grace, Eternally triumphant, eternally triumphant. Aho, 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 I am a priestess. Ah, I am a priestess. Sing this part with me. Ah, I am a priestess. Oh, Priestess, 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 priestess. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I can't wait to do that on stage one day for for all y'all. And um, let's put plant that seed to the cosmos. May it be so. It must be so. Ba man pu. And we send this beautiful music, this beautiful melody, this beautiful prayer, all of this beautiful energy out with aloka, samasta, suki no bhavantu. Oh, I love all of you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of you. The cat was totes singing too. You guys are so great. So, hold on, aloka. Do, I, do you guys know this mantra? It's loka, samasta, suki no bhavantu. So let us share with the directions, the north, south, east, west, all of the elements. Yes, thank you guys so much for the love. And we're sharing this energy with the multiverse. Loka, now you. Loka, samasta, samasta. Bye.
samasta suki no bhavantu. May all beings in all of the universes be free and be free of suffering. And may my actions, may our actions, in some small way, contribute to the cessation of suffering for all beings, for all beings, for all beings. Babam tu. May it be so. It must be so. Thank you so, so much. The more you are present, the more you are here. It's like a two-way street. The more I give and more gets given through us. This is why we come together in community. I'm not teaching you anything that you don't already know or have spiritual access to or anything like that, but there's something about when two or more are gathered that we get to really bring it. And I love you so much for co-creating with me. Thank you so much. It's an honor. I will see you here next week. I'm going to put up the times. Um, I'll probably do it right after this actually and make my March calendar 9 a.m. specific on Fridays. I love you. If you have questions, if you want to reach out to me, michelle at michellecotino.com. You can message me or follow me on Instagram at michelleinfinity and I'm doing the surrender program. Surrender is on my website uh, under the group program so you'll see it and I love you so much. And if you've lit a candle, let us blow it out together. Namaste. Sometimes you want to pinch the candle, I've been told, because you don't want to blow it. It's disrespectful to the fire, but you know how it is. Sometimes we blow. I love you. Thank you. I'll see you next time. It's been an honor and a privilege. Thank you guys so much for your donations. It means the world. Aho.